What is up my friends, in today's video I am going to show you how to defeat the Aether Worm, the new boss for Act 4, solo. If you've played the Season 1 update for Zombies, you've definitely noticed that this is not solo friendly whatsoever, but since I like to play solo, I tried to figure out a strategy that will help you out. I started the game pretty fresh, I didn't bring in many items from my acquisitions, however if you do have perks I would highly recommend bringing them in. Also it is extremely important I would almost consider it mandatory to have a large backpack and a 3 plate armor vest. Next pretty much play through the game, collect as many points as you can and purchase yourself a legendary weapon from the tier 3 zone, if you don't know how to get to that state I have a video in the description. You will then want to continue completing contracts until you have enough points to pack a punch it to tier 2 at least, I did it on tier 2, you don't need tier 3. Also throughout the process of completing the contracts while you're gathering points, keep an eye out for self revives, you'll want to collect as many as you possibly can. Before we head into the Dark Aether, make sure that your large backpack is full of armor plates, stacks and self revive kits. Once you are ready to enter another realm, make your way over to the star located on the minimap and vote to get into the Dark Aether. Now this is a very important piece of information, the second you make your way into the Dark Aether, in the top left hand corner you can see the timer. It will start you from 30 minutes fresh no matter what, so you have the full 30 minutes to spend in this area of the map and on the boss fight, you don't have to rush anything. For the first portion of the boss fight you are going to have to break 4 seals that are scattered around the map, in my games they were in the same locations, they should be in yours too. I would definitely recommend having decoy grenades for this step or casmir devices, I'll show you when and where to use them. For this first seal it's fairly easy, you don't really need much, with a cryo freeze ammo mod on your weapon you should have no problem getting through this one. Throughout the process of breaking the seals you're going to be killing a lot of zombies, you can use this time to stack up armor plates in your backpack for the future boss fight. Now for seal number 2, in my opinion this was by far the hardest one with the most amount of zombies and is just in front of the fortress. What I did the second I got in front of it, I threw my Casimir device in front of it, I activated the seal and you can see just how fast the progress bar fills up from the Casimir device. If you don't have those you can throw down a decoy just in front of it and just mow all of the zombies once it's active. If you do by chance get stuck or trapped by the zombies, I would definitely recommend having the Tesla Storm Field upgrade activated and all the zombies around you will freeze. For the third seal, this one was located inside the building and by far this was the easiest one to complete. For the final seal, and in my opinion this one was the second hardest to complete, you're going to get a lot of zombies spawning, some special enemies like the Disciples, and the only piece of advice I have to give here is every time you run out of armor, make sure you plate up as fast as possible. Now it's time for the boss fight ladies and gentlemen. In my game I found one of these dark ether rifts around the perimeter of the map, I use this to get to my starting location. The dark ether worm is going to spawn in the exact same location every game, just on the beach side of the fortress. If you've taken a rift, land directly on the highest point where I do over here or you can simply get up there without the rift, simply have to climb up. Now when I was making this strategy and giving this an attempt for myself, there was really nobody else that I seen completed solo so I had to make my own way out. I stayed in this location until the zombies dropped me an insta kill, realistically speaking I was trying to see how much damage it can do but it's not necessary. The second you get an insta kill or you're ready to spawn the dark ether worm, simply paraglide towards the beach. The start of this strategy is not perfect, I was trying to figure things out for myself but you can learn from my mistakes and I'll guide you through them. On both the left and right sides of the ether worm you're going to see exposed areas that are glowing in purple. These are the locations that you will want to shoot and once you successfully hit them you will see your hit marker turn yellow. At this point I realized that I really cannot dodge these kinds of attacks, they drain your armor completely so I said you know what, we're gonna shoot this thing from a distance and we have to achieve some higher ground cover. I decided to run up this hill, there's both a staircase on the left side and on the right side for your convenience. Once I was up here I continued shooting the worm from this distance. At some point you will notice that the worm is going to burrow itself underground and basically run around swimming underneath there, you will see the debris flying from above. I had no idea how to get him out of there aside from jumping back down to the beach area, there is also an ammo cache here so I would definitely use this every time you run down just to fill up. Every time the worm would come out of the ground I would continue shooting the exposed purple locations and back up the stairs we go. You can also notice right here the purple beam attack, if you're on the beach it is definitely going to attack you and once it starts to spawn these purple orbs you want to kill them as fast as you possibly can. Simply spray and pray, if they hit you they will drain your armor really really fast. And if they're out for too long without being killed the ether worm will go back underground. Now for this next portion the strategy is pretty much the same, you'll want to use the left side and the right side of this building as cover to prevent those slam down attacks, 
Every time the attack is over, run right back to the worm and start beaming the exposed areas. If at some point you do run out of armor plates or you run out of self revives, you can destroy the purple crystals around the map in the hopes that they'll give you armor plates, and you can also kill off the zombies that are coming after you so they can drop armor plates as well. When it starts to charge up the laser attack, even if you're not directly behind the building, it still wasn't hitting me in my game. And when it comes out of the ground, it can sometimes swoop you up in the air completely and you can parachute right behind the building. At the time of recording this video, it was the only complete solo strategy that I was able to find with one player in the game. That being said, it's not going to be perfect, but it's the best that I could find so far. If anybody has any additional information that can make this easier, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you never want to miss an upload. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.